All right, going to continue on with our special uh, parallelograms. This time we are talking about the square. Now I'm sure, you know, we are all familiar with squares, um, but there are some specific uh, sort of characteristics of a square. So again, it's a parallelogram with four equal sides and four right angles. So Mr. Larson's silly joke is that when a rhombus and a rectangle love each other very much, then they have a baby and that baby is a square. So you can see again, kind of like this uh, in this graphic here that the characteristics of a rhombus is that there are four congruent sides and the characteristics of a rectangle is that there are four right angles and a square has both of those. So again, it fits under the, the entire umbrella of a parallelogram. It's also um, a rhombus and it is also a rectangle. So a square wears many hats. And I think this is... Uh, kind of something that is super just beneficial to see. So again, we have the quadrilateral just means four-sided figure. And so far the last couple of lessons, we've been focusing on parallelograms, which include rectangles and rhombuses. However, a rectangle and a rhombus combined create a square. And so then we still have two other types of families that we have to talk about. Um, but we'll get there uh, in lesson five. So again, the rhombus, or the rhombus has properties about the diagonals uh, being congruent. So given that L to K equals one, find the indicated measures. So let's see here, measure of angle M, K, N. So because again, these Diagonals are going to intersect at a 90 degree angle. So this is going to equal 90 degrees. Measure of angle L, M, K. So that's this angle right up here. And again, I know that the, in, the entire angle is 90, which means if I cut it in half, I'm going to have Angle LMK is going to be half of that, which is 45. Uh, kind of the same idea for angle LPK. Again, it's going to be cut in half. You could also look at it as, hey, I have two parallel lines cut by a transversal. How would these two angles be related to each other? They would be alternate interior angles, which are congruent. So I know that they have to be the same. If L to K is one, then that means K to N is also going to equal one. And that means that MK is one and PK is one and one plus one equals two. So M to P equals two. Um, and now we don't necessarily know what LP is. So again, this is Mr. Larson's one recommendation whenever you get stuck on something is to pull it out and draw it. So that's not a super accurate drawing. I'm pulling out this triangle right here. So we already know that we have a 90 degree angle right here. And then we said that this side is one and this side is one. So right off the bat, I know I have an isosceles triangle, which means this angle is the same as this angle. In other words, we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So if my legs are one, then that means that this is one square root of two or just the square root of two. Again, that's our shortcut for a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Stay tuned, next couple lessons we'll fill in uh, what the last two sort of shapes are in our quadrilateral family.